Welcome to fall in all of its beautiful colors. A local resident has very graciously allowed us to come in and have Inspired Design and Barb Lazar How decorate their home for Thanksgiving. Yes. Barbara, this is absolutely gorgeous. She's decorated everything from the time you walk in the door, actually at the front door, to all the little nooks and crannies without overdoing. And the thing, the thing I, you know, we, we, when we think of holidays in the season, it should start with the entryway. So when we walk in, you already get the feeling like, oh, okay, it's a holiday and it's festive. And it's, well, it's Thanksgiving. You're, yes. you're, it, it's just a family time, and this really is a very welcoming entrance, um, including, like I say, the wreath at yes. the door right to the entranceway into the foyer. And, uh, yeah, it brings ambiance to the whole reason why you're here. You get that feeling. And what I want our audience to know is that Barb basically uses things she finds in the resident's home. Um, and we did do some digging. <laughs> oh, we as did. You we we do. arranged some things as we always do. But and I looked in cabinets and such. And yes, that's what we. I repurpose everything that is here. Nothing has been purchased except maybe the pine cones, and we both know how inexpensive that is. But everything else has been repurposed from years in the past. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Now this is the foyer. The um, next step is the kitchen. Yes. Why don't we go in there? I think we should. Yes. I think we should. Well, no matter where you serve your guests, they seem to always like your kitchen best. And Barb has certainly decorated this kitchen. Too beautiful, Barb. It's almost too beautiful to cook in, so I guess we have to cater up. I agree. I agree. I like the decorating part. You know, actually this is to serve two purposes. There, the, This house is um, serving guests in the dining room and the children in the kitchen. So Kids, kids always can, have a kids table. Right. And I wanted to make the kids table festive with a little bit of sparkle and a little bit of, you know, just kind of so they have their own space. It's a and Right. And it's, you know, it's not just you're just putting them in the kitchen with a bowl of, bowl of food. You know, let's dress it up and this make it, you know, make the kids happy. And this is just a table runner. This is a table runner, and we put some of the raffia over it. And then, of course, we had to give them their own uh, name tags, which they liked it. And then we kind of made it whimsical with the pilgrims. And we brought this idea I like is the wreath because um, I brought up height without it attaching to anything. So I actually used a wreath hanger. And it's really, and it's very pretty. Mm -hmm. So to you don't have it. to attach it. It's just, and you can move it when the season is done and use it for any other season. Every other season. And you know what? It doesn't take up a lot of table space. So there's plenty of room for what you want to put on the table. And the counter. You see what I mean? It's too pretty to have to cook in this. Look at, look at the counter space. It's adorable. And it just, it just does bring it. You know, again, it has to be functional. It's a kitchen. It's a working kitchen. But it has to be pretty, too. And it has to be inviting and festive and, you know, just something special. Well, I see that you use, I mean, you even use the sink for serving. Yes, I did. Tell yes, us how I you did. I mean, the serving is always so pretty because what you don't realize is not only pretty. You're, it's got to be functional. You're, you're really getting... Yeah the most out of the small space with the high and lows and the different levels. And for this particular party, I only used half the sink, but what I did is I put a piece of plywood over the opening of the sink, again with my lifts. I've always talked about my lifts. It was just a lucite box and a piece of plywood covered it and put on a serving dish. And I also put behind it just to deflect. Oh, it's a water pitcher. Yeah, a water pitcher with some... Um, Floral, the fall floral pieces in it. And this is in the background. Again, it kind of deflects from what else is going on here. And of course, you can put a big enough piece here to let it smoothly come around to this side. So this is um, this space can be used to its maximum all the way to the stove. And, well, the only thing is, is you do have to, when you do this, you have to make certain that the box is, that's holding the plate up is long enough or large long enough, enough right. to hold the plate. Right, you know? it's got to be pretty much to the scale of the plate because you right. will be putting food on here. Exactly. You don't want accidents to happen. But it's a great way to uh, to use every inch of the space. It I is. Mean. 
And now over here we have another serving area. And what we did this time is we chose to use a real pretty red charger plate just to bring some interest to this in color. Again, my whole idea is not function with beauty. So if I can bring in color in another place, especially against white, I do that. Functional. Mm -hmm. Beauty. Right, exactly. And how easy is that? And actually, chargers are not very expensive. No, they're not. Chargers, they're I think not. they come in packs of four, and they're usually $10 under 10. and under. Right. Yeah, under $10, depending on the colors and shape. But still, you know, and they go for such a long way. You can use them in so many applications. Well, you can use this, you know. for example, you're, you're using it for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and I'm sure we're going to be using it at Christmas. You can use it for everything. And even in another home that we recently taped, we took a charger and put a plate in front of it just to bring more volume I to that small that. plate. Yeah. So there's many applications. They're, they're definitely um, worth their weight in gold. Well, they are, and chargers. a lot of them are gold. Mm. This one happens to be red. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then again, we came back to the Lucite boxes. This happens to be a red one. Just just plain old little old Lucite boxes it that is. you find around the house. That's it. That you or, have you know, another good idea is styrofoam packaging. They usually are nice big chunks. You know, when you oh, order yeah. something, people are always ordering online now, and when they get their items, you always find a big chunk of styrofoam packaging. So just save one or two pieces. You can cut them in and then they are, they're a good height. They're for a good height. And then we added, again, we added leaves. Why do we add leaves? Just to bring interest. So it's just not the obvious And food. it's not in the way. No, no. It's not and in the way at all. It's not and taking And that's the nice space. thing. If you use a garland, which we did, you can form it to fit the area that you're using. And then at the very end, of course, we used a pumpkin just to tie in the theme. But the whole point of this is, is that you've gotten so many serving places in such a small area. What if you use the whole big area? Well, then you see you can extend on. You can. Um, you can extend on into the corner. Yes, those pieces are beautiful when your guests are arriving. Right. But when your guests are all there and you really have to start using it to serve, you just move them right off. You just move them. You move them you right off. You just move them and you can use them for additional space. And the other thing is, is what Barb is not saying, they don't all have to be... Uh, fake fruit, you can use the real fruit. It's just kind of little pieces in between. Mm -hmm. So and don't be afraid to use what you've got. You can see we just used a tablecloth. It's just so a So you can use fabric, you can use tablecloth. Sheets are another good idea. You get real pretty bright colored sheets for the season. You can use sheets, they go a long way. So anytime that you can bring in an element that's gonna bring make you think of why you're here and the th season that you're in, you can achieve that with all the extras that you do in the space. And it's just a tablecloth. Yeah. Which you're going to take off and can reuse. You can reuse it again. Yeah, and even the serving, the way that this is set up, I could easily do the same thing for Christmas. Now, couldn't I just put a Christmas garland in? And the white goes with every season. Well, that's the nice part about my white, favorite. Uh, white dishes, yes. yes. And you could just change everything else around it and you'll have the same look. That It, it is it is beautiful it really is beautiful and, and i love the fact that you know the children have something to enjoy and they feel like they're still a part of the party in their own space yes and, and there's know? always been the kids table and the kids table is always separate a from card the adults table, table right it's card it's table. Like a card table well use the kitchen table right use the kitchen and the table. other thing that i mean i know i've used is i'll put a, a, a cutting board over the stove to extend yes. the counter space and when you need it you put it aside. Yeah, you keep you keep going. Or big cookie shoots you can use, and then that's what you were saying. Yeah, the large cookie yeah, sheets, a large cookie sheet, which work. are probably safer than a cutting board because the stove sometimes is hot because your oven is on. Right, right. You know? So I mean, you can keep going around, but the the nice thing is you can use the space that you have by bringing up height. Because again, if I wanted to t tuck a condiment bottle or something in here, we could always cut it, uh, put it on the low levels. Or if you had a sauce or if you had utensils, you can put them on the low levels. So there is a lot of uh, serving pieces here in a small space. There, that, there, I mean, a lot. And this is a small kitchen with, uh, with maximum use of the space. Yeah, and there is. Yeah. So if you go up high, you can always use, tuck in the backgrounds with something else. See, and I'll tell you, I think we chose this house specifically because it is not the big spacious house. Mm -hmm. This is a very average. Um, typical homeowner typical home. home. Right. Homeowner home. And that's why I wanted to do this. And, and when we were talking with the homeowner, I asked her, 
what do you do when you have a holiday? And they said, oh, we have the kids in the kitchen and the adults in the uh, dining room. I said, that's what we're going to do because that's your typical home. It, well, it is, and that really is why we chose mm -hmm. it, because while we all would love to have that huge, Mansion. spacious kitchen and dining yes, area that yes. you can see 20 <laughs> people at, it doesn't mm -hmm. always happen. No. So you make the best of what, what you have, and this certainly is making the best of what we have. It is, it is making the best. And uh, we also have a beverage table. And the reason why I like a beverage table is because, actually, this is, takes up a lot of room in an average home. So if we bring in a beverage table, put it in a different area, completely away from everything, then you, you're creating a new space, but you have, you have enough space to put all your beverages. And what do you have? Is this just a this charger a over the cake, mm -hmm. over a a cake dish? Yes, over a cake dish. Oh, wow. Because Again, I wanted to bring up interest. maximizing space. And I want to bring some interest to the space, and that allowed us to decorate it a little bit. Very nice. This is so. just very nice. And it's in the kitchen, but in an unused area of the it kitchen. It is an unused the, area. What you have to do, I think, is just step back and say, where am I actually going to be Use working, it. seating, and what's wasted? Right. A little wasted spot that certainly is and usable now. And you could use it. And these are just trays, you know, that we put together. What do you TV mean? This trays. Is, this is just, oh, these are, what well, we have to make sure the camera yeah. sees this. There's two just two TV snack TV. trays. Look at that together. Oh my goodness. That's all. You cover them up with a pretty tablecloth and voila. So you have a beverage. Table. And again, the, what I love about the beverage table is you need the beverages. Well, you do. But, and they take up a lot of counter space, they take up a lot of table space. So give them their own space. Make it pretty, make it party like. And, and these are two, mm -hmm. uh, two TV snack trays. That's all. You could actually put two or three. Oh, or you could, you know, spread them out a little bit and put a plank of plywood over it. If you have a small little piece of... plywood and it works just oh, fine. Oh, yeah, I love plywood because it's, it's really good. It changes. You can change the form. You can become a more of a square edge. And, no, plywood's a good thing. But this works in this instant. And you use all the space. Mm -hmm. Very, yes. very nice. I mean, yes. very nice. Now, are we going to go into I'd the love room to show the dining I, room. The dining room is beautiful. Yes. And it should be because this is where you're going to be serving the, the work that you've done. You work very hard on, on making the meal. And it should be the, it should be the relaxing, the conversation. all right. It should yeah. be appreciated. Now we're going into the dining room for the adults. This is the adults' table. The, the grown-ups get to sit here. <laughs> yes. And this, this is beautiful. Uh, it, it's, it's not overdone. It's just a little bit. It's, but it's beautiful. And I think, I think what kind of gives it the glam. First of all, having the benefit of a buffet in the kitchen allows you to put a nice big centerpiece in the middle of your table, and that it all brings color and interest. And of course, we raised it up from on a box again. And we took a runner. Wait, this is this is on a box? Yes. Oh, it's on one of her loose side boxes again. Yes. You must have a collection of these, Barb. I do. <laughs> and then um, what we took is a runner and wrapped the box. Because I don't necessarily want to draw attention to the box. I want to draw attention to the centerpiece. And then we flanked the centerpiece with both, again, the pine cones, bringing the same coloring in from the hallway and the candles. Now it's just, just a basket underneath here? That's all that is. It's a centerpiece that's been used for year after year and it's just a basket. It's just a basket. Because, but it, it's got so many beautiful colors and so many workable colors that, you know, whatever we put on the table is going to pull out the colors in the basket. There's one other little detail that Barb isn't mentioning in the, uh, where the napkins are. Look at this little detail. You, yes, well, you, That's adorable. We wanted, of course, to have a napkin ring. You know, and pull but the a napkin, napkin ring through. in the glass. But so we it's put it in the glass and, dresses it up. and it kind of gave a ring for the, and a, a stand out. That's adorable. For the, so it's functional again, yet it's really pretty. And again, we use the chargers and we, we set up the plates already. And then going along with that, we, we use a natural, a, a neutral colored tablecloth because everything you put on it now just pops. It stands, it stands out. out. It stands out. And it's just, stands out. just a plain stripe contrasting, not even contrasting, similar colors to the runner. Yeah, it is. And you can use, and that's a good point because you have a stripe and then you have um, a diamond shape, which all works. 
And people are afraid to match patterns, but you can when it's monochromatic like this. Yeah, and, and, and the colors are the, the same. They are. So, so it, it all, works. It all works. So it, it works. All works. And, and again, any color you put on this color background will just pop. And then we wanted to bring, of course, we wanted to continue the theme to the corner. So the homeowner already had the sticks, so we just added stems of leaves. So there were the sticks there, and you just added yeah, the, the we just the added the, if, if I could just pull one up. See? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. That easy. That easy. And it brings color and interest, of course, to the, to the season, which, again, you can do this for every season. Yeah, and just keep changing because it you, out right, because you, the, the you sticks are the You always have the base. The eucalyptus is there. You always have the base of the sticks, so it brings That's interest, and it's very, very And nice. it's interesting. And then, of course, the homeowner's colors just work perfectly for the season. Really? Perfectly, yes. but you know, Barb, I think you would make any color work perfectly. Well, you I would you work with the color, I would try. and you would and you would just make it work. I you would know. Try. But Barb, you've got to tell us how uh, our audience can be in touch with Inspired Design. Well, you can call uh, Barb at six three zero two one two three two nine four, or go on inspiredwindows.net, or you can catch me on YouTube under inspiredwindows.net. So. Contact Barb Lazar if you just want an idea uh, yes. of um, what to do. I mean, you can do everything from an entire home to a room to just holiday. Uh, I can. Training. I can give advice and help with the holiday decorating. I can, you know, if you're just doing one room and you don't know where to begin, call me and I'll help you to begin and pick. Paint colors is another big thing for Paint people. colors are big because once yeah. you paint a wall, it's yes. there. So I, find, I help you kind of balance your paint colors with what's going on around the room. So you just give me a call. I can help you with your home. With as much or as little yes. as you would like. Exactly. So exactly. thank you all for joining us. Thank and you. we wish you and your families a happy, healthy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Lucille Zucchero. And, and Barbara Lazar, Inspired Windows.